Kai. I'm Canadian artist Ryan Lowry. This is my crack pot breakfast. Welcome to the latest episode. Today on the crack pot breakfast, we're having Wolfgang Puck's chicken and dumpling soup with Ritz crackers. And a butter tart. Who has dessert with breakfast? Fat bastards do. I'm a painter. I started painting canvases at 37. Before that, I, my art was mostly spoken word and um, experimental. I had a newsletter called Sugar Free, which was a wacky comic strip, underground newspaper. Basically, it was a blog, but on paper. And um, I made shirts for a while, did some poetry. And um, for the last three years, I've been painting. I took up painting. Um, most of my work falls into two categories, uh, nudes and nightmares. Here's a nude. Ooh. This was a nurse. She lives in Pittsburgh. And that's all I'm telling you about her. Um, the nightmares are uh, nightmare landscapes. So, whatever the hell that is. Most of my work is either nude bodies or that. Um, I've also been commissioned to do works. I did a painting of my cat once. Sometimes I'll paint scenes from movies that I like. But most of my work is nudes or nightmares. And the question I get most often is, does your wife know? Yes. She's the reason why I paint nudes. Um, when I first started painting, it was mostly abstracts, um, surreal, bizarre. I wanted to, I wanted to do like a dark cartoon version of everything. Um, Kind of like a Tim Burton-y, you know, try to imagine a Tim Burton movie. So very dark, exaggerated features. And then I painted um, a couple of nudes. Um, some of them were bloggers. Some of them were uh, women who do webcamming. And I said, hey, do you mind if I do a... A fan painting of you and they were like, no do it yay most react well some say no and that's fine but I know when people ask does your wife know they clearly don't know my wife Jennifer very well um, Jennifer is not intimidated by uh, nudity or uh, sensual art but I understand what they're saying, and what they're saying is, hey, you're a dirty old man, stop looking at nude women that aren't your wife. Um, no. I look at nude women who aren't my wife. But the bigger picture that I don't think people get, artwork is work. It's work. I know some people like to think artists just sit around getting high and drinking wine. I know some people think that artists just sit around drinking wine, yelling about bizarre political practices at orgies. No, it's it's work. It's it's a craft. You do it mostly by yourself. I paint in my living room. 
I don't use a, a stencil or some people have the scaffolding where they set it and you know they do the the fucking I don't do that I don't measure I, I don't need it to look like the real thing I need it to look like the thing it is up here um, but it is work I, I paint paintings I want to see, even in a commissioned work, because to me there's always a chance that they won't want it, and I'll be stuck with it, so I keep painting until it's something I would buy, again, even if it's a commissioned work, if you want something that looks exactly like a photograph, take a photograph and frame it. not interested in photorealism. I'm interested in capturing a mood or a moment. Some of those moments are nudes. And again, when people say, does your wife know? Clearly, they don't know that much about me. Since 2007, my wife and I have lived in a townhouse. Before that, we lived in a one-bedroom apartment, which was really more of a one-room apartment. We're modest people. So, we live in a townhouse since 2007. I've been painting since well, three years ago. Painting since 2013, maybe 2012. Let's say 2013, so three years. And I live in a townhouse, which is basically a two level apartment and a basement. So that'd be three levels. Do you count the basement as a level? You got main floor, I'm in the living room, where I spend almost all my time at home. And there's a kitchen, front hallway, stairs upstairs, there's three bedrooms. A master bedroom, bathroom, closets. And then downstairs there's laundry room and a furnished basement. But it's not that big. And since 2013, I've painted just over 300 canvases. I sold 70 of them, which isn't bad. It's not great, it's not bad. Most of those were nude works. And how that works is, sometimes I just make it up. And sometimes I ask people, you mind if I paint you? And about three quarters of the time they say yes. One quarter of the time they say no, thank you. I do not want the world seeing what my nipples and asshole look like. Which is fine. But I know the people to an extent before I paint them. At least their name. And because I don't do photorealism, the resemblance varies. Sometimes the likeness looks very much like a person. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes with nudes, I just paint from the chin down. A lot of people are more comfortable with that. Because at least deniability. You can always go, no, that's not me. You pretty much have to leave out tattoos. Some people are adamant about that. Do not put my tattoos in the work. Okay. Because again, it's deniability. 
So somebody from their work ever sees it and goes, is that you? They can go, uh, do you see my tattoo of Superman? No. And I get that. Some volunteer, more often than not, I ask. But again, it's work. I appreciate that people think it's for more nefarious reasons. But it simply isn't. I paint nudes because I like nudes. Behind me is a picture of a friend holding a goat. I thought it was a cool picture. My painting doesn't really look exactly like the photograph. But again, that's not the point. Think about it like this. If a band does a cover song, right? So a band plays their version of another song. Do you want it to sound exactly like the original? Or do you want them to find their own flavor to it? I personally enjoy it more when bands find their own flavor to a song. Like, if they change the style or the timing... And they do their own version. I mean, if you want it to sound exactly like the original, just listen to the fucking original. It's the same with photo likeness or photo realism. When people paint something, it looks exactly like a photograph. I mean, that's not art. You didn't make anything up. You just duplicated the colors that were there. But to me, a painting should be the essence of something. Which I know is fruity and pretentious, but so's painting. <laughs> okay? It is a little pretentious. Because it's stuff to think about. It's stuff to, you bring your own perspective to it and your own opinion on what a piece is. But some might look at this and go, oh, look, he spilled ketchup. Oh, God. And other people could see there's clearly a face within a body. There's some lips. There's a face stretching out. What the fuck's going on there? Ah. That's why I like what I call dreamscapes. Or a nightmare painting. Because when you have a nightmare, it's overwhelming. But it's irrational at the same time. Part of you knows it's a dream. But the dread is the same than if you're about to be mugged. It's real. And to me, I love paintings that can take us there. Paintings that can take us somewhere other than where we are. To me, in that art is magic. Which again, I know is pretentious. I don't care that people think I'm pretentious. Or snooty or an asshole I, I I don't care I really cared about winning people over till about grade one and about three days into grade one a wonderful calm came over me most people I meet, I knew then, as I know now, don't give a shit who I am or what I want. And that's not a bad thing. It's actually a wonderfully liberating thing. Some people I meet will get me. I'm a weirdo. And they'll enjoy it for a time. Some people flat out do not like me. That's totally okay. Because a lot of people I meet, I totally do not like. I don't always have a reason. 
Sometimes it's a gut feeling. It's got nothing to do with logic or rationality. Some people you like, some people you don't. Which again, when people say, oh, explaining paintings, it's pretentious. No, not if it's a good painting. And even if it is pretentious, so what? I'd rather something be pretentious than void of thought. And to me, this is the problem with landscape paintings. Again, something I take shit for. Because I don't do them. I have some paintings of scenery, but I don't... There's usually something else going on. Somebody just paints a meadow. It doesn't do anything. It's like, if they had a... If it was a song, this would be the lyrics of the song. There's a field and some sky... Like, imagine that was a song. <laughs> the fuck? I like songs by, like, Tom Waits, you know? Songs about cripples and wicked people and thieves and hoodlums and cranks and crazy people and, you know. And I want my paintings to be, like... Like when I put on a Tom Waits album, I go somewhere else. Again, I know it's kind of fruity to say, but I do. He takes you to it. It's like listening to a movie. There's a not just a sense of escapism, but it's you. He makes you feel something. And, and I'm hoping that in time my paintings will do that. Somebody will just look at my painting and then they go to that place. If only for a few seconds. Because those few seconds can make all the difference. A few seconds of joy can make a whole lot of bad days irrelevant. And that's what art does. Art changes what we're focused on. Art can change what matters. If you read a book that's very funny and insightful, that can change your outlook. And your outlook could change your life. So, I like nudes, and I enjoy the intensity of a nightmare. To me, that's the thing. I'm not celebrating the fact that we have nightmares, but I'm celebrating... I, I am depicting what nightmares do to us and being engaged in that nightmare to me that's that's a powerful thing what we're afraid of why we're afraid of it and I try to capture that in a painting that bizarre overwhelming sense and sometimes I put new people in a nightmare But I should say, a nightmare doesn't necessarily mean that you're asleep and fearing for your life. Like, you can be in line at the bank, and it can be a nightmare. Again, I'm talking about the feelings of dread and, and overwhel being overwhelmed. So anxiety, depression, to me these are, these are realities. Not just for me, for everybody. Everybody has stuff they're working through obstacles and to me I work through them with painting and there's also joy and that's why I paint nudes because it's joyful to see a nipple that's fun and I, I don't paint specific body types Big people, little people, skinny, fat. I like to paint people that have a pulse. People that use 
people that are living, people that have frustrations. Some guys prefer to paint cherubs. I don't. I've stuck a few in, from the, if you <laughs> gotta look for them. But, but no, more often than not, the people I paint have stubbles. More often than not, the people I paint have stubble, or a pimple, or a wart. The people I paint have a pulse. So yes, my wife knows that I paint nudes, and she encourages me to paint those more than the other types of paintings I do. I also do sculptures out of clay. And a lot of those are nudes. And regardless of what people think, I'm going to continue to paint nudes. Because I enjoy them. And to those that are made uncomfortable by nude bodies and aren't, unfollow me on Tumblr. Unfriend me on Facebook. Block me, even. It's not going to change the output of my work. I usually paint two or three canvases a week. Every week. Have for the last three years. Probably will for the next three years. There's going to be more nipples and dicks and vaginas. So... Hang around if you want to see some more of that. And if you find that unpleasant, leave now. That's it for the Crackpot Breakfast. Now if you excuse me, I have to play pool on my Nintendo Wii and listen to Queens of the Stone Age. Because that's what I do on Sunday mostly. I listen to music and I, I play video games. I still use the Wii. I know every, it's like a dead system. People are like, oh, you gotta get an Xbox One. No. I like the Frisbee Golf and I like the pinball games. I like very simple games. And then I listen to music. And yeah, they're fun. I like fun games. I think so many people play video games and they get stressed out. They yell at the screen and they freak out. You can't yell at the screen. Playing frisbee golf? Here's the biggest reaction I've ever had playing frisbee golf. Ah. Oh. Then you move on with your day. I see gamers playing. You know, Halo or Call of Duty, and they're, they're so mad. It's psychotic. They're so expensive now, man. Yeah, I have a... Nintendo Wii is the one that I play the most. I also have a PlayStation 3 and 2. And most of the games are that, are just fighting games. Lots of Lego games. That's fun. Couple of fallouts. What's a bad man? But yeah, video games for me should be fun. Not stressful. I save stressful for when I'm painting. <laughs> hmm. So yes, to answer the question, my wife knows. She's the reason why I do it. She enjoys them. I've painted just over 300, sold 70. So there's over 200 paintings on my wall in my house. It's a lot of new bits. So, <laughs> just in case you're ever coming over, keep that in mind. You're gonna see some nude bits. Cause to me, that's art. Enjoy your day. 
try to have some fun and be good to each other. Or don't. I, I don't care. I'll be at home playing pool on my Nintendo Wii, listening to Queens of the Stone Age. <laughs> so. so, I'm going to go do that now. Bye.